the Social Security Administration. How can I help you today? I got a, a voicemail, something about legal action if I didn't call back, so I'm calling back. Okay, can you verify me your name and your social security number for the verification? I don't even know what this is for. Sir, once I verify in my system, I'm going to pull out the information and let you know, okay? Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. My first name is Dill, D-I-L-L. Mm-hmm. Last name Doug, D-O-U-G-H. D-O-U-G-H, correct? Right. Dill Doe, yes. The social? And my social is 086-101463. 1463. Uh, let me repeat, sir. It's 086-101463. Yes. Okay. And right now, sir, like, uh, how old are you? What's the date of birth? 3 16 I'm 70, 70 okay. years of age. You're 70 years old right now. Okay, sir. Just give me a quick moment. Let me just go ahead and pull out the information, all right? Okay. See you on the line, sir. Oh, all right. All right. Thank you for holding the line, sir. Are we still connected? Yes, we are. All right, sir. Right now, here I can see that, sir. Uh, the reason you have been contacted today from our department was to inform you regarding to some legal enforcement action file on your social security. We have got an order from the higher authorities is to suspend your social at the right moment as we have found some fraudulent activities going on How can you do that? against your social security number. I'm sorry? How can you suspend my social security? That's what I get. I get social security. But sir, here I can see that your social number has been used for fraudulent activities such as drug trafficking and money laundering in the state of Texas. So what do you have to say about that? I don't know. It's not me. I'm in New York. Not you? I'm in New York. But sir, how come your social number has been found in the state of Texas, sir, for such kind of fraudulent activities such as drug trafficking and money uh, laundering? Yeah, I don't know. Why, how would they get it? That's the reason, sir, the call was made to you today. Uh, so that we can verify that from your side as well. Okay, it's so not what's me. knowledge about this? It's not me. It's not you. I'm not Sir, in Texas. Uh, have I'm you in ever lost any of your identities? I'm in New York. No. Did you ever lost uh, any of your personal information, like your driving license, your passport, anything like that? Well, no. How do you lose that stuff? It's in my wallet. Okay. Does anybody else, sir, have the access of your information, sir, rather than you? No. No. Okay. Sir, uh, right now, sir, I need to provide you with some important points about this case, which you need to write it down, sir. Okay. So can you kindly grab a pen and a paper so that I can let you know what you need to write it down? Okay, go ahead. I'm ready. Are you... Okay. So first of all, sir, you can write down the case number. Make a title of a case number. Okay. Go ahead. Hello? I'm ready. Yeah, it's DC. D is in David. DC. D is in Charlie. Okay. Seven, Seven zero, zero one zero one zero three five three five. Okay. Next of all, you may write down the warrant ID number. Warrant for what? For who? Yes. Warrant for the who? Warrant ID number. A warrant. I'm for... gonna let you know, sir. Okay, I'm gonna let you know. Okay. Okay. What is it? Did you write the warrant number? Is five three. Five three. Seven four. Seven four. Six eight. Okay. Yes. And um, along with that, you can write down my information as well as for your future reference. Okay. As I'm the informer of your case, my name is Officer Andrew with my last name, Kanarsa. Andrew what? Andrew Kanarsa. How do you spell it? I don't know how to spell that. It's C-A-N-N-A-R-S-A. -N -N huh. Italian, huh? Okay. And my federal batch number is Go five. On. Five. B. B as in boy. B. Six. 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 Eight zero. Eight zero. One one. Holy shit! Okay. You got that? Yeah, it's a long badge number. How's it fit on your badge? I'm sorry. What do you mean by that, sir? Well, it's awful long for badge. Usually, badge numbers are like three, four numbers, but that's all right. No, sir. That's a federal batch ID number, sir. See, I don't know how to federal. Yeah, I don't know. 
I just know from TV. Sir, uh, can you just repeat those points back to me, sir, just in case you don't make any mistake? Repeat what? Repeat those points back to me, sir. What points? So that you don't make any mistake. What points, sir? Which points I have? The case number, the warrant oh. number, and along with the case number DC seven zero one zero three five. Uh, mm -hmm. Warrant is five three seven four six eight, and your bitch ID mm -hmm. is five B six six eight zero one one. Correct. Okay. So right now, sir, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and read out the legal charges, okay. which has been done using your identity. Okay. So I will highly appreciate okay. if you do not interrupt me in between while I'm okay, speaking. Go ahead. I'm I will give fair enough chances. Okay. Sir. Go ahead. So the investigation started when yes. they found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas in the city of El Paso. And the I'm car contained York. some blood. I'm in New York. Sir, let me... Please, sir, did you listen to me what I told you? You need to listen to me first. But you're you saying Texas, in the end, okay? I'm in New York. That is the reason, sir, the call was made to you as your name has been found in the state of Texas as you're staying but in I'm New York. But I'm not in Texas. So how come, sir, your social number has been found in the state of Texas then? I, I, how can it be? Are you providing your information to somebody else for this kind of criminal activities? No, why would I give it to somebody? So, how is it possible then? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. So let me complete then, okay? Okay, go ahead. Okay. So as I was saying, the investigation yes. started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas and okay. the city of El Paso. And the car contained some blood as well as amount of drugs inside the car. Oh. After the investigation, we found that the car was rented under your name and under your personal social information. And there was two address linked with the title of the vehicle. So one of the address lead us to the state of Pennsylvania to the city of Rowlett. It was an apartment rented by the U.S. Marshal. Uh, uh, Sorry? Uh, you're confusing me. I'm in New York, now you're talking about Pennsylvania. Sir, I'm trying to explain you the case, okay, what's going on under your social... Wait, you're if saying you're not stuff comfortable that I'm with not there? I'm not in Pennsylvania? We are not blaming you, sir. Let oh. me complete, we are not blaming you. It's okay. your name which has been found. Oh. So you need to understand that it's else using your identity okay. for this kind of fraudulent activity. Oh, okay. I'm just nervous. I'm and so sorry. we have and and so we have found many documentation under your name such as related to the banks as well as like Chase Bank, Bank of America, US banks, Wells Fargo, City Bank, CNC Banks and many more has been found which has been used under your name oh. from which many wire transfers has been done from one country to another. So what do you have to say about this? Nothing. Sorry? Nothing. Does anybody else have access of your information rather than you? No. You told me not to talk. No. No? Nobody else? No. Okay. So right now, sir, are you willing to cooperate with us to find the real culprit if you are not the one involved in this case? Ooh, if I gotta go to Pennsylvania to look for him? No, sir. We just need your cooperation as we are generating a new social number for yourself. And we're gonna suspend your social number which you're using right now. You can't so do that. that. That's what I get my social security. security from. Yes, sir, but everything will be the same. We're going to link everything to your new social number. You need to, don't need to worry about oh, that. Oh, okay. Okay, in that way, we can track down the real culprit using your no, identity. So in the future, we believe, so your social number will be used again. Okay. As a criminal is going to use a social number once again, okay, at that moment, we can one. track them down, okay? Okay, what's my new number? You're going to give it to me now or you're going to mail it to me? Uh, no, sir, the social number will be given to you within 24 hours. Okay. In the mail, you okay. think? Okay. So right now, yeah, yeah. the officer will be okay. coming down to your doorstep, oh, sir, for okay. a new social number. Okay. So right now, I need some information from your side so that we can link your new social number okay. with the properties, with the assets which you have right now. So okay. I'm going to ask you some a few questions that you need to fill in the application. The application name is the access file form. It's an application for a new Whoa, social security so number. What? Okay? You're, ta you're talking too fast, uh, Andrew. I didn't hear what you it's said. An, it's an access file form. SS5. It's an application okay. form. Yes, it's okay. an application form for a new social security oh, number. So okay. I'm going to ask you a few questions related to your assets. Okay, so we can link those with you. To my assets? Social, okay, okay, go ahead. All right. First of all, sir, the house which you're staying, is it your own house or is it a rented house? It's my own. Your own house, okay. How many cars do you have under your name? None. 
They took my license away. How many bags do you bang with? I had tape? perineum and they turned me into DMV and they took my license because of the perineum. Okay, sir, how many banks do you bank with? Just one. One. Can you name the bank, sir? What's the bank name? Uh, bank of Warsaw. Sorry? Why? I'm sorry, sir. What's the name again? Oh, Bank of Warsaw. Can you spell me out the last name, sir? W-A-R-S-A-W. S-A-W? Yes. Okay. So, in the Bank of Warsaw, are you holding a checking account or a saving account, sir? Or both? Both. I have both with them. Okay. Can you just help me out with the approximate balance that you have right now? I got probably 500 in checking. You have 35 in the checking? 500, I said. Oh, uh, that's 500, correct? Yes. Okay. And the savings? About 1,500, maybe. Just give me a moment, sir. Let me just update this. Okay. So in the savings, in the checking, you have 500. And the savings, you have around 1,500, correct? Yes, correct. Okay, so any any credit cards, any under your name? Uh, yeah, I got a visa. You got a visa, only one. Yeah. That's a visa. Okay. And what's the limit, sir? And like, how much do you owe them? The limit's five thousand. The li I'm sorry. The limit is five thousand. Yes. Okay. The limit is five thousand. And how much do you owe them? Five thousand. You owe them 5,000, right? Yes, yeah, so maxed out. Yeah, maxed out. Okay. And so, any investment under your name, like 401k, anything like that? Well, no. Where would I get money for that? Okay, then. Just give me a quick moment, then let me just go ahead and update this to my higher authorities and let me see what can the needful can be done for you, okay? In order to save and secure your funds. Oh, yeah, we got to do Before it that. gets seized by the government. Yeah. Just give me a quick Okay, go moment. ahead. Quick moment. Thanks for your patience. This is Officer uh, Michael Robinson and Andrew Kanasha has connected your call to me. Okay. And I believe that my previous officer has explained to you about this case, what is this all about, and what's yeah, going on in your name. Yeah, about Texas and Pennsylvania, but I'm in New York. I'm in Moranica, New York. Okay. And I would like to know, like, did you ever been to the state of Texas? No, I've never been to Texas. But Oklahoma, but I've never been to Texas. Okay. All right. So I'll see at this point of time, as I can see here, that as you're holding a balance of $500 in your checking and $1,500 in your savings. Am yeah, correct? yeah, that's what I told them about. I'm not sure if it's exact, but it's pretty close. All right. So see, uh, right now I believe that you're willing to save and secure the funds, whatever you're holding in your account, am I correct? Yes, I'm going to go get it right now. Okay, so see, at this point of time, as per the protocol, you're not authorized to keep that uh, amount in your bank account, nor you have the authorization to keep that money in your... What protocol? Uh, in terms of cash with you. What protocol is that? Well, from the federal code house, as they have updated this information, that you cannot keep that much of amount in your account more than a, uh, like hundred dollars. You cannot keep it in your account or Why in not? terms of cash with you. My money, case. sir. I don't understand. If it's your money, so that's the reason you have to save and secure that funds into an electronic voucher. So right now, what you can do is get dressed up and make a way towards your bank. I'm holding the line for you and make sure the line is not going to get to my bank. I don't have. I can't drive. I told them I tore my perineum and they took my license away. So how are you going to go go to the bank? I well, don't well, know. You have to book an Uber. I don't know. So you have to book an Uber. I don't know how to do that. You don't know how to book an Uber. Never did it. No. You don't know how to book a taxi for yourself. We don't have taxis here in Moranica. There's a bus that goes through once a week, but that's about it. I don't even know where it goes. Okay. So in that um, huh? condition, like, what? Uh, okay. what, what we need to do? Like, uh, what, what do you know. want us to do? I, I don't know what I want you to do. I don't know. What are you going to do? Well, uh, simply I can seize your bank account. Is that okay for you? No, it's not okay. That's my money. If it's not your money, then you have to save and secure it. So you have to take a 
lift from anyone. How do I take a, a lift from anyone? Back. I don't have no taxis here in Moronic, uh, New York. You don't have any friends? They're all dead. They're all dead? Yes. How are you alive? Well, you see what I do is I spend time talking to scam ambassadors like you and it keeps me alive. <laughs> really? Yeah, you Ben Chode. Okay, talk to one moron, okay? Just bear with me. Okay, give me another moron. Yes, hello? Yes, hello? Yes, sir. What happened? What happened to what? He said he was going to connect me to the other moron, and you answered. Yes, I connected the line to one of the machinery officer. And so he, he connected me back, back to, to me. you. He said you yes, were a moron. Because you let me through and you're supposed to screen these calls. I'm sorry? Oh, he said you were supposed to screen the calls. But you must have screwed it up because I got through to him. And then when I called him a bench ode, he said you were a moron. What do you mean by that, sir? What do I mean by what? We are not able to take your call right now. Goodbye. Social Security Administration, how can I help you? Hello? 